Okay, I was just thought I might just do a quick little video about inspection covers while we're covering the wing. Anyway, obviously this is the right wing. And if you're running a G3X, you're gonna have the magnetometer. This is where the magnetometer is gonna go. So you can see on the G3X uh, manual, the location here, basically the spar is right here. So we've got an inspection hole on this side. That's so we're gonna be able to get up in there and get the nuts uh, on to the bracket when we mount the magnetometer up on this side, which would be the aft side of the spar. We will later, I mean, right when you mount your wings, you'll mount the magnetometer into the mounting bracket and then you'll put it up into here and then you'll mount it and it's got some two screws that go through there, which are double nutted. Okay, so you can see that the location is good as shown in the manual where to put it. And when we come back over more inboard, we can see here, that's your little teardrop that's going in there. And you can see how I talked about lining it up here. So you basically, you can see what's happening is that cable, you've got a pulley cable that's on the upper inside that we put in the upper pulley bracket that we put on the wing. That cable is gonna come back down, cross through, come out the wing here and mount to the aileron here off the mount off of the aileron hanger rod. So you can see where that should be. It's lined up. This one is put exactly as shown in the book. You can see that maybe, maybe move it back, you know, maybe a half of an inch. You know, maybe take it, maybe from the manual position where it shows, it shows how far from here to the back edge. I would probably just go ahead and make a note and maybe move it back a half of an inch and just move this on back up into the center. It's not a big deal, it works. Then you can see we've basically got another access cover right here and that's gonna be so we can get our hands up in there and work this cable through and so forth. And that's where you'll grab this cable. This is the cable we've got ta taped up to all the, uh, the X bracing in there with the drag uh, tubes. The front one, you can see what's happening here. Same thing, we've got an inspection around grommet and cover here. That's the same thing, just to have access to come up into the wing. We're gonna take, we're gonna uh, put this, this is your uh, aileron cable that's coming in. We'll put this on later when we're finishing up the airplane. It'll go, to, we'll mount this to it, uh, to the uh, attached fitting here. And then it was going right through the hole right here and back down uh, to there. That teardrop was located in pretty good uh, position there. So you got that one for that cable and you got that just to access that one. And you can see that's pretty much, this one is pretty much right in line with the strut attached fitting here. Cause that's where that cable is going to come through, hit this pulley and go back in that direction there. And Showing you the top. You can see when we put that top bracket in, what I was talking about, we lined it up. So here your cable is gonna come back through here, and it'll come back down through here, and then back onto the aileron attached cable there. Coming back over to the left wing. We'll look at the covers here. Of course, we've got the top cover. That's the only one we've got there. And here is pretty, everything seems to be, uh, it's pretty much the same, except that we're gonna have a patch that's gonna go right over where the pitot tube is gonna attach in here. So this is the, the patch here. You can just, you can locate it. You just put it right over the bracket that we mounted in the wing. It'll be, you'll be able to see it clearly and put the patch over it. Later, we're gonna just cut, cut a hole in the fabric uh, through the bracket and install the aileron. I mean, the pitot tube over here next to it, which as you can see is behind the light right here, right behind the light fixture is that one. And that's also, we can get up in there and we can work with the uh, pitot tube. It also is right where the, you can be able to access the pulley bracket up here that's going back down. Uh, uh, that's There's a pulley bracket right here on the spar that the, the cable runs through that holds the tension on it so it goes on out to here then goes back down in uh, that direction. The one that's back here on this back side, it is the same on the right wing. That's the one that's just outside the fuel tanks. We do not put one in the front. Remember for the EX3, they eliminated the front one and we're only putting the one 
in the back. And again, that's so we can access the drag wires that are going through the fuel tanks and remove it out the back of the fault spar if we need to ever need to remove the tanks sometime in the future. So on that one, you really don't even need to put a cover on it right now. A lot of the ones, if I'm not gonna use them, I'll just not even cut them out and put a cover on them now and just make sure I paint a cover so you ever have to access it. But when you do your first conditional inspection, you'll have to cover, cut it out anyway. Up here, same thing here, except that on the left wing, we do have the stall warning indicator here. So we are gonna have this round grommet here right behind where the stall warning horning, horn is going so we can uh, access it. You'll notice it's gonna be on the forward side of the spar so we can get to it from that direction, not on the back side. This one, of course, is on the back side. And this is, where, again, the same thing here. Where we're working our cables back down, you know, to that side. So anyway, those are all of the inspection covers that you can use this along with the uh, drawing to, to verify.